overall the tournament is a grind, man. Um, I took a loss first round and had to battle back a little bit. And uh, the coaches just preached to us all year about being mentally tough and, and kind of fortitude. And, and uh, I think that's what this tournament's all about, you know. A lot of times it's the tougher guy who, who advances, not necessarily the better guy. So, and as far as the pins, um, I go out there and try to get a win first. But if I have a chance to pin, team race, you know, I don't know if we got a shot to beat Penn State, but we got a shot to beat Oklahoma State, so um, that's about it. I was watching your older brother, uh, Mike. He was uh, pretty excited during it's your All-American. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun to watch. Yeah, um, you know, he actually moved out to New York uh, after he graduated and coached for Cornell a little bit, but he's back now, and he's a big part of the, the reason why I'm a good wrestler, and uh, and He's just uh, always in my corner cheering, and it's awesome. What's the cut been like for you all year? I know that was a, a big cut for you to 25. You know, I, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't tough, but um, it's a lot tougher early on, just kind of as the season went on, you know. Season's, what, five, six months long. It's like eventually your body just kind of accepts that that's your natural weight, so. Is it anticlimactic to get a pin, and you're not even sweating right now? Or yeah, <laughs> no, I, I was glad to get off the mat right away. I mean, um, Last match of the tournament couldn't, couldn't go out, you know, better than a pin. So unseated. Yeah, unseated. Talk about yeah. being unseated. Um, well, I knew I wasn't going to get a seed coming in after a sixth place finish at Big Tens. I knew I needed to place at least top four. But uh, you know, it's like I said, my coaches all year have told me that they believe that I'm one of the best guys of the weight, and uh, so I guess I just took that and ran with it. And, and uh, it's like, how many upsets are in the? you see at this tournament, it's like seeds don't mean a whole lot. There's plenty of unseeded guys that made All-American this year. So. Eight All-Americans for you guys, you know, that's incredible. And yeah. if you'd have told me a week ago, or probably told you a week ago, that Kevin Steinhaus was an All-American. You know, he had an injury, I believe a hand injury. Yeah. But, uh, you know, like something like that, eight All-Americans, that's, that's incredible. He should have had nine, and Silverberg wrestled really well this weekend too. Our team is an extremely close-knit group of guys. We're all best buds. Um, and as far as eight All-Americans, that's great. We should have had, should have had ten. Um, as far as Kevin and Danny, two of the hardest working guys I know. Kevin, I respect him more than anyone on the team. He's just a great guy on and off the mat and uh, one of my best friends. Same with Zilberberg. He's an extremely hard worker and he's been one of my best friends since I was a little kid and it hurts to see those guys not make the podium, but I guess that's the way it is sometimes. Right, you got anything else for me, David? That's it. Thanks. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Hey,